Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to WoW Live. My name is Tusky and in this video we are going to continue our foray into the Siege of Orgrimmar. We have done the Veil of Eternal Sorrows and it went pretty well. All things considered we only had the one wipe on the Shah of Pride. But other than that things went very smoothly. I felt a little bit squishy, I will say that now. There were times where, especially after the second boss, after the Fallen Protectors where I pulled the big trash pack and my health just kind of woo, vanished. That was a little bit scary. But I think that we can continue, as long as we're fairly careful about things and we share out the damage with the other tank, we should be good. So we will queue up. We don't have any loot, I believe. I'm just checking. We have the Twisted Treasures of the Veil, vale, but yeah, that stuff generally doesn't tend to be... Doesn't tend to be a... Loot worthy. So we will queue up. This should hopefully be a fairly fast queue. If not, I'll edit this out. But I will say something cool about the Twisted Treasures of the Veil. Vale. If you ever moused over it before you opened it up, then it will say, All that remains of the Golden Lotus's generosity. And that actually is a reference to the fact that before 5.4, the Veil vale of Eternal Blossoms was a questing zone. It was a daily quest zone. There were lots and lots of daily quests there. And at the end of each little daily quest chain, you would get a little uh, Treasures of the Veil, vale, which would have things like Motes of Harmony and some profession stuff and a little bit of gold and things like that. So, yeah, that's just a nice little reference to that. So, oh, oh, goodness gracious me. That's quite the average wait time. So I think, actually, I'm kind of tired of Orgrimmar. I'd like to look at something else. So I think we're going to head somewhere else. Oh, where should we go? Let's go to... Uh... Let's go to Mulgore, yes. Let's go to Thunder Bluff. I do like Thunder Bluff. So many people just stick around in Orgrimmar all the time. This has been a problem that WoW's had for a while. And a lot of people, like, back in vanilla, they used to say, Oh, you know, back in vanilla, you, we'd all go to all kinds of different cities, and we'd all do this and that, and, you know, everyone wasn't conglomerated in one city, sitting, waiting for queues. Which may have been true, because queues didn't really exist back in vanilla. But I'd also like to point out that back in vanilla vanilla, uh, Orgrimmar was the only place with an auction house. And a mailbox, I do believe. So, I'm just counterbalancing that argument. They did eventually fix that. I'm not sure if they fixed that in Vanilla or the Burning Crusade, but they did fix it. And things were much better then. And you could go to any city you wanted at all, which was very nice. I still like going to weird cities every now and then, so we'll head over to Thunder Bluff and just generally just sit around there. I want to stay in a city, though, because, you know, in case we get uh, any loot, then we can... Uh, oh, that reminds me. I have 67 lesser charms. I should probably actually hearth, thinking about it, because, silly me, I didn't get Warforged Seals last time. I might as well. I mean, I mean, we're going to be getting a lot of gear from Siege of Orgrimmar LFR, so we're going to do that. And we don't honestly have that much time left to do all this stuff. I mean, patch 6.0, the pre-expansion patch, is going to be fairly soon. Probably uh, two to four weeks, something like that, and then... We will have it, and we'll have our new models and all that stuff, which will be very exciting. All right, so we'll talk to you. How many seals? Oh, it's 50. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so there are our three Warforged seals for the week. It'd probably be a good idea to actually uh, do a little bit of grinding to get some more lesser charms. So where can we do that? We could do that on the Timeless Isle. Although, honestly, just about any level 90 modern Pandaria gives you lesser charms. Hmm. I wonder if we can kill these Shah down here. Yeah, let's give it a go. So we will mark the wild ourselves. Gotta remember how to play this bloody game now. There we go. I've been playing a lot of the Warrior recently, and I'm not entirely sure whether or not I want to. Yar! Berserk. I'm not entirely sure whether or not I want to have the Warrior uh, as one of my big characters come Warlords of Draenor. Because, I mean, a part of me wants to be like, yeah, we can have the three different classes, and we can have the Shaman for the heals and the ranged DPS, the Druid for the. Uh, the tanking and then the just not standing and stuff here and then the uh, the warrior for melee dps so that i can switch around them during guides make it one less and clear and make some of the best guides out there but i could also do the same by just you know going enhancement with my shaman and that would be kind of cool i think because i i used to play enhancement back in wrath of the lich king i actually mained enhancement uh, throughout heroic ice crown citadel when i back uh, when i did that did we actually get any lesser charms hmm we didn't. Well, we'll head towards the Time Asylum. I know, I know that you get lesser charms from the Time Asylum. So we'll go and do that. But what was I saying? Uh, yes, Enhancement. I was thinking about going Enhancement. Because not only do I have a little bit of experience with it from quite a while ago. It's probably very different now. But I 
can also use the fact that uh, male pieces, uh, come Warlords of the Journal, and really any kind of armor piece, will uh, change stats depending on your spec. So in case you didn't know about this, let's say you have a male chest piece, okay? And it's... And, and, you, and you loot it, and... I mean, today in Mr. Pandaria, if you got it, it would say, like, oh, you know, intellect, spirit, crit. Right? That would be a restoration piece. You would use that if you were a restoration shaman. You could argue that you could use it as uh, elemental, but... It's really not the best, and you definitely couldn't argue using it as enhancement, because you want agility for enhancement. So, you can't really kind of uh, mix and match there. But come Walls of Draenor, let's say a chest piece drops, it will just say male. And it may have a few stats on it, but other than that, the stats will change depending on what spec you are. So, if I were Restoration, it would be, you know, Spirit and Int and maybe something else. If I was Elemental, it would be Intellect, Haste or something like that, or Mastery. And if I were Enhancement, it would be Agility and Stamina or whatever else and all that stuff. So it would definitely be easier in terms of uh, me sorting everything out in order to uh, just go Enhancement, come Wallace of Draenor, and just dance between Enhancement, Elemental, and Restoration, and that would cover three of the different roles. And I do love my Shaman, but at the same time, I'm kind of enjoying the Warrior. I will say I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would be. Oh, here we go. We have... Popped our queue, so I think that's enough of that. I'd like to know what you think about that, though, whether you think it's a better idea to just have the warrior or a bunch of uh, shaman specs. So it looks like we're just waiting on the other tank. Hopefully he accepts, because I would really not like to one-tank this. I mean, I could probably do it, but it would also probably hurt a fair amount. So do we have our, our flask? We don't. We don't have a flask this time. But we do have some Pandaren and treasure noodle soup. So that should be good. Okay. Mr. Tank. Are you going to be coming with us? Or Mrs. Tank? Uh, looks like no. Looks like we are going to be one tanking this. I'm not looking forward to this. So we are going to be doing Galacrass. Iron Jugger... Oh, I see. We start at the Iron Juggernaut. That would explain quite a few things. Alright, so... We have... Uh, a raid team. That is what we have. We do not have another tank, though. Chokeb is not a tank. All right, let's use this opportunity to go into Voodoo. And while well, they're just chatting away, keep an eye on that chat in case someone's like, Ah, oh, we have a tank! Pull! No. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can sort out how to sort out the uh, the way that these show. Uh, sizing bars. I'm trying to just get the tanks to show up on the left. Oh, Runastus has joined us. Okay, you're a DPS. Yeah, you're a mage. You're not a tank. Okay. Uh, sizing bars, headers, targets, tooltips, text. Hmm. Maybe under misc? Nope. I will find it. It's here somewhere. Grouped. Hide, empty, horizontal, you first. Here we go. Sort by tank, damage, do the healer. Yeah, that's how it should be. And if I, if I invert it, it should be down there. Yeah, so it does work. Maybe I'm just failing. Maybe it's perfectly possible. Alright, so we've joined an LFR that is in progress. We have missed Galacrass, which honestly isn't that bad. I'm not too concerned about that. But this happens, you know, you do just join LFRs in progress. That's what happens. Nothing can be done. So we just got to sit here and wait for our next tank. So we shall wait for now. And I'll edit this out while we wait for the next tank. See you soon. Ah! Huzzah! Hello, tanks! 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 Hello! Yay! Huzzah! I'll be your off tank. Okay. Alright. Tank there. Tank there. Raid at red. Tanks at blue. I forget when to tank swap here. I should check this. I am juggernaut. Tank swap. Internet is always the best thing. Iron joke. Three to four stacks. Off tank, eat the bombs. Okay. Okay, so the Iron Juggernaut f hits fairly hard. In fact, he hits really hard. So we should probably be careful. Oh, 
Okay. I'm not entirely sure why we want to stack everyone up. Taunt on first two, then three, three, three. After siege mode, go two, three, three, three. Okay. I'm just going to say okay. Taunt on two first, then three, three, three. After siege mode, go two, three, three. Okay, I think I've got that. Anyway, so let's talk about the Iron Juggernaut. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we want to tank him facing away from the raid because he will do a breath. This breath is conal and it puts a dot on people. And you don't want that. Uh, red. Oh, there we go. Here's the red check. Lovely jubbly. We're all buffed up. We've got seven minutes left on well fed. In fact, let's eat. Hopefully we have enough time to just... This is an interesting thing we've got going here. And we... let's mark the tanks. You can be nipple. Oh no, you'll be diamond then. And I will be... And I will be triangle. Alright! Go ahead. Ready, when... Oh, here we go. Okay, Three, good. Two, one. Charge forwards! Just going to melee you a little bit. Actually, we don't have floating combat text on. We should probably fix that. There we go. Sorted. Just want to move out of that. Alright, so i got to keep an eye on Ignite Armor stacks. So, he's already done it once. There's the second one. Taunting you, just like you asked. And you're not move. Okay... I'm not entirely sure what you're doing, my friend. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna jump on a mine. <laughs> Taunt on two, not fifty-four. Apparently, goodness gracious me. Well, I think we we're able to get one of the mines. So let's just focus on that. And we'll wait for our. Okay, we want to taunt. I will taunt you then. I have taunted you. Would you like to get out of the way? <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Okay. Let's talk about tanking then. Okay. So, one of the first things that you are going to want to do as a tank is not yell at the other tank. Especially when they're confused like I am. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Anyway, let's just try and survive for now. We'll just kind of dodge around this uh, damage we've got going here. And then we will use our defensives. Okay. So, we've got boxing going at the moment. We're not taking too much damage. We're good. So, we're currently sitting on three stacks. Waiting for the other tank to taunt. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Tank. Do, 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 do. There we go. He has aggro. We'll, we'll do that. I am not on the ball today. That's okay, though. We will charge down to you. Yeah. And then we will charge over to you. Are we in, can we get in range in time? There we go. Lovely jubbly. There we go. Sorted. Gotta keep an eye on this. My DBM isn't yelling at me about this guy's stacks, so we're just gonna do that. Oh, he's going into siege mode now, so it's not too big, too much of a big deal. Let's just focus on getting mines, keeping the damage low. Although, honestly, I just want to quickly talk about this. Uh, he could probably start attacking this, considering his health. It's pretty high. There we go. Here comes the first shock pulse. We will use Savage Raw and just move around here. There we go. Just avoided that. You don't want to get knocked back too far, especially, like, in that direction. So struggling just a tiny bit here, but that's okay. It's all part of the process. We will go over to this crawler mine and jump on you. Whee! And then we're probably going to get knocked back mid-air. Oh, we didn't get knocked back mid-air. How interesting. So we'll jump on you. And come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Here comes the next shock pulse. We will just move here. I'll hopefully get here in time. All sorted. Lovely jubbly. I want to stay nice and close so we can jump on as many mines as we can and reduce the raid damage. Right, here comes some more mines. Grab you. There we go. Charge down to you. Grab you. The other one is all the way over there. Can we get to you in time? We'll dash over to you. Go back into bear form. Pop bark skin. Sorted. He's got one ignite armor. I see that now. Alright, we're going to be taunting on two. We'll charge over to you. Get some rage. Here comes two times ignite armor. Grab aggro. Sorted. There we go. That's much better. We'll pop a cooldown to help survive this. 
keep our savage defense up. We use our dodge and our Zandalari trinket. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Use our savage defense. Taking a lot of damage here, but this is the Iron Juggernaut. Nothing we can do about it. Just got to use as many cool lens as we can. Uh, using our Might of Ursok. There we go. And let's see if we can find someone to res. So who are we missing? Damage. Damage healer. Where is our dead healer? Okay, the dead healer is outside of the raid. That sucks. Alright. Let's just focus on doing this. Let's get down here. Hit you. Can we get to you in time? Seven. Six. Yeah, we should be fine. Charge over to you. It's my Q. Just jumping on the mines as much as we can. And then we will go over to you. Grab aggro. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sorted. Would you like to move, Mr. Tank? No? Okay. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Alright, so struggled a little bit at the start of the fight there, but I think we're doing a bit better now. Everyone seems to be getting things under control. What cooldowns do we have available? We have bark skin in about 10 seconds. We will have Savage Defense now. We'll use that. We still, unfortunately, haven't been able to use any self-heals quite yet. All right, here comes the set next phase. So, we'll keep an eye out for mines and jump on them. But yes, uh, this is an intense fight, so I haven't been, had the chance to talk too much about it. But generally, you're going to want to, uh, first of all, not yell at tanks in LFR. Patience is always the best thing in LFR. You always want to be patient. Just putting me back to the wall there. And if uh, you're not patient and you yell like this other tank has unfortunately been doing, then all you're going to do is aggravate people. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to piss people off. We'll use our bark skin here. Other tank seems to be doing a fair amount of jumping. Let's see if we can get to this mine before him. Oh, the shock pulse actually knocked us into that one, but I think he got to it first anyway. All right, so that's fine. But yes, you want to be patient in an, L in an LFR. It's always the best thing to be is patient. Patience is always important. You just... You just want to be patient. I mean, people are going to suffer. They're going to have problems. They're going to fail at mechanics. I mean, I fail at mechanics every now and then. I, I did earlier in this fight. And it's very important that, you know, you accept that that can just be the case. And if you don't, then you're just going to be angry at everyone. And you don't want to do that. So we will wait for... Oh, no, he's jumping on it himself. Okay, good, 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 good. I'll just avoid that. What's his stacks on? He doesn't have any stacks yet. Okay. So just avoiding the big red doom circle and we should be all good all right he has one stack Although generally we should be good he's only on 10 percent health so we will continue to do this watch out for mines here come the next wave of mines jump on you charge down to you jump on you still not in range one day i'll do that perfectly it'll be awesome jump on you when we land we will taunt there we go Got aggro. Face you to the side so the other tank gets, doesn't get the debuff. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We'll just pop all our cooldowns at this point. Want to survive as long as we can. Can't see a bloody thing though. This is a pretty good place to, to tank him, I have to say. It's not that bad. It's not normally where we tank him, but that's fine. So here come more crawler mines. I still can't see a bloody thing. Although we should be good to survive this for now. There we go. And one dead iron juggernaut. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is uh, sorry for bugger buggering up at the start. Alright, all right, so we'll just say that. We're just going to be nice and, for and for forgiving, I suppose, in a way. But yes, if you ever want to see whether or not you should bonus uh, loot, if you don't have something like at this loot like I do, then you can just press M for map, click on the, NP on the, uh, the boss, go to loot, and then filter by druid, guardian. So he drops shoulders, waist, trinket. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> Not that it matters, we got gold anyway. You're naked. Why are you... No, oh, never mind. Alright, so has the other tank left the group? That's what I'm curious. He hasn't. That's nice. Okay, there we go. So we'll keep focusing him. Oh, he's going to bugger off it looks like. And uh, we have people here, so let's just start pulling this stuff. Charge towards you. I've never tanked a blind blade master before, so this should be interesting. I know that he pretty much just does cleaves. So there's the one cleave. There's the next cleave. Just kind of move him in circles to avoid this. 
Might not be able to avoid them all. But hey, I feel like a ninja right now. Oh, so blind cleave, this will knock us back. Charge in. Blind strike, that's a big old cleave. Loads of cleaves. I am dancing, dancing, dancing. Oh, I probably could probably just eat all of them, to be honest. I don't know if I could dodge these, though. It seems like they're just big AoEs. Here comes the next blind cleave. We will charge you to get back in range. Blind strike, avoid that. Just loads of avoiding, really. Looks like he does swift strike, swift strike. Don't want to make him face the raid. Actually, let's just tank this up now, I think. Alright, so we have lost the other tank. He has decided to bugger off. So, oh, goodness me. I don't want to don't want to evade bug him there. Alright, there we go. Dead Mon. But yes, we have lost the other tank, which sucks. But, you know, nothing we can do about it. And he did say he was a little bit uh, tired, I believe. Something like that. I wasn't paying too much attention. So we'll just do a bit of AoE aggro here. Get some AoE threat with the old Berserking. May lose threat here, but that's okay. I mean, these guys aren't too dangerous. I'm saying that they're probably going to kill me. But yes, uh, that was a really great example, that fight, of just patience. You need to have patience in an LFR because LFR is where people go when they're not entirely sure what they're doing. I mean, I'm, I am I will happily say it. I killed General Nazgrim on Heroic yesterday. Uh, that put my guild on uh, six, uh, 6 out of 6, uh, 14. Yeah, 6 out of 14 Heroic. And yeah, that was awesome. But at the same time, I don't know too much about tanking. Well, I, I know about tanking. I just haven't tanked for quite a while. Looks like we've got a holy moly, a whole bunch of stuff. Try and get aggro on everything here. This is going to hurt, so we'll pop our cooldowns. Shift 4, shift 5, shift 6. That feels nice to do that. Get some stuns out on whatever we can. Use our Savage Defense. And we'll use our Zandalari Trinket. Get as much air we done as we can. But yeah, patience. And like I said, I I know my stuff, but, you know, sometimes I just screw up. I've never tanked Iron Juggernaut before. I mean, I was, wasn't quite on the ball at the start of that fight. I was thinking about all kinds of other different things. I was thinking about mines. I was thinking about placement. And all that stuff. Been disoriented. That'll probably kill a couple of people, but that's fine. We're all back now. That's good. Okay. And, yeah. I mean, I just didn't... Wasn't quite prepared. And I, I buggered up a little bit. I'm more than happy to admit that. And I did say sorry. That's what you want to do. If you bugger up, just admit it and say, sorry, I buggered up. I'll try not to do it again. That's what raiding is about. Although, this isn't raiding. I will say that right now. This is not raiding. This is a pug. This is not raiding. We'll bear hug you to help with the stuns. Did we get a stun off? I know, maybe he was immune. And we will take the chance to mass res. Where is it? It's over here. I put mass res in, in a different place every single time. Come on. Come on. Let me mass res. Oh, people are resing anyway. We will pull you over here. And we will pop bark skin. Just in case the healers are a little bit slow. Grab you. Jump and move. There we go. So that they're facing away from the rain. Taking lots of damage here. What cooldowns do we have? Well, we have Enrage to help with the Savage Defense. So that's good. But yes, uh, like I said, it, it was great that that guy came along. I don't know what he was doing there. He seemed to be pretty well geared. I didn't check his gear, but I mean, I just checked his health. That isn't obviously indicative of his gear, but he had more health than me, which was uh, definitely a sign that he was in pretty good gear. So, so I thought, you know, maybe he, maybe he did need his place. Maybe he didn't, but you know. We'll have to just wait and see. Well, not even wait and see. We just don't know. We'll never know. It's one of those great mysteries of life. Goodness me. All right, so a couple of people have joined the group. Hopefully, they'll be a little bit more patience. Patience? A little bit more patient, even. I've got to sort this out. It's here somewhere. Oh, never mind. We've got the two treasury guards coming in. These guys in rage. Uh, and they hit very, very hard. So we want to be a bit careful here. Are you? Oh, we have, a, we have a brewmaster tank. Huzzah! I found you, brewmaster tank. We took aggro from you, but... Oh, here comes the Enrage. This is going to really sting. Uh, I have Soothe. I'm curious, does it pop me out of bear form? It does! Crap! <laughs> well, learn in the heat of fire, eh? Yep, yeah, well, as long as I remember that, then I'll be fine. So, not doing too well, this LFR. Little bit silly, but that's okay. As long as we don't die, we'll be alright. Just turn and face you. Alright, so... Let's have a look at our friendly tank here. He was called Happy something. Ah! I don't know why I'm getting aggro on these guys. They're level, like, le level 20. They don't do anything. Okay, okay. Our other tank is called Happy something. Begins with an H. I'm trying to locate it on my action bars. Indeed, just the world. There he is. Or she. Focus you. There we go. Alright, so we'll have a... Oh, no. Yeah. Happy... Happy Hap. Well, there you go. 
It's a shame you didn't call yourself Happy Hat, because that is an awesome hat. Uh, looks like we're in similar gear. So we should be all good. Well, I suppose we're going in a different direction here, so we will just grab you. Can't jump and grab Aggie on you, but that's fine. You're out of line of sight. So we will grab you and just turn you over here. So let's see who he decides to bribe. I always like it when he bribes people. It's quite funny. All right, so he's picking the Warlock. We will just go over here and stun you. I want nothing to do with this. I want nothing to do with the Warlock destroying us. So you're down. We will then grab you and stun you. Here comes the next bribe. Uh, oh, it's on me. Okay, well. Arr, death to the raid. Etc. Thankfully, when Mokvar dies, all people that are bribed get unbribed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sorted. And let's move over here. We'll focus the Shadow Mage first. Charge! Grab you. We will then berserk and do all kinds of damage here. We'll just stun you while these guys come in. Grab you. Pop savage defense. Grab you. The knockback wasn't the best, but it's also not too bad. Oh, we've got disoriented. And here comes more ads, but that's fine. They're just grunts. The grunts in this aren't too bad. It's the big guys you generally have to worry about, like that overseer. And we'll grab aggro on all you folks if we can. Oh, the two Ceremal Citizens, they're fine. They're not a big deal. Using the savage, savage Defense. Get Disoriented again. Damn it, people! Focus the Skull! Generally, it's uh, not too much of a big deal in NFR. On Normal Mode, the little Mind Spikes that the, the uh, Shadow Mage casts can one-shot people. Which sucks. Disoriented again. The, the main problem with Disorient is that it breaks on damage, but to counteract that fact, if you get Disoriented as a tank, you lose all of the aggro. At least temporarily until you get undisoriented. Which uh, can really suck when you've got a massive group because then they'll just go and murder everyone. We will go and grab you. And you. And then we will sit here and wait for the death to come to us. Alright, so it looks like our friendly uh, monk has grabbed a whole bunch of the aggro. We will grab you. And we will charge forward to grab you folks. Can we grab you? There we go. Okay, so we've just we pulled everything down here. That's exactly what we want to do. You want to clear out this room because, uh, well, generally you just don't want anyone ever pulling anything during the next fight we're going to be doing. It's just generally a bad idea. We will stun you. Don't need this electrified ground. Do, 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 do. Lots of the AOE. That's just generally it, really. You just want to grab as much aggro as you can on this. It's just a long trash pull, really. It's just very long. It's not that bad, actually. It could be longer. It could be much worse, but it's not. So, we'll just deal with it. And of course, stronger DPS makes this really easy because you can just destroy this. So there we go. Corcoran Dark Shaman is down. We will grab you. And you. Do we have Berserk? We don't. I've lost my Berserk button. Where is my Berserk? Uh, it's here somewhere. I will find it. Oh, I think I see it. Is this it? No, that's bark skin. I have it here somewhere. Anyway, let's uh, focus on keeping our friendly tank alive. I'm still struggling a little bit to catch up with the... Uh, just where everything is, really. Because I have such different UIs for my two different characters. I might just copy-paste it at some point, especially when Warlords comes along. I'll probably be redoing my UI in some fashion when Warlords Adrenal comes along. Where is my berserk? Oh, here it is. It's right here. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, there we go. Goodness gracious me. I do apologize. I do apologize if you if you were just sitting there like, It's over there! I see it. So we'll grab our go on you, and then use Savage Roar to get back into range of people. Grab you too. That'd be jubbly. There we go. And then we'll use our berserk, funnily enough. Pop combine that with Savage Defense. And move over to the other tank. Oh, goodness gracious me. Ugh, Hunter Pet is tanking. Just uh, just so you know. No. No. Don't. Just don't. Don't. T turn your pet taunt off. Just please, please do it. If, if just one person over the course of this entire series realizes, oh, I should turn my pet taunt off. If just that one person does it, then I will be happy. It would all have been worth it. 
always, always turn your pet taunt off. And you generally want to aggro this guy as well. I'm not sure why, in all honesty. He doesn't seem like he'd be that big of a deal. But apparently people like to do it. Hey, look, he murdered the deer. The hunter pet. I'm, I'm not sad. I know I'm a druid and I'm supposed to defend nature, but that... <laughs> you could say that hunter pet tanking is not natural. Alright, so, Dark Shaman. Uh, we will whisper you. No, no, right click, whisper. Uh, I'll take... Harum. The... The male. If you take Cardris. The female. There we go. Do you have to tank swap on this? I believe you do, yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Five stacks. Uh, we can taunt, we can swap bosses at five stacks. There we go. Uh, keep them together, move around the room slowly to avoid their mechanics. Harum does a debuff, will swap at five stacks. So I'll go onto Cardus, you onto Harum. There we go. Alrighty, I will already check. I'll just pull from inside. Five stacks. Five applications of the debuff. When you lose threat on Cardus, it's because I've taunted. So taunt Harum. When you see that. Grabbing the bosses. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I've never done this before. Oh, hello, Etrig. And go! Run! Run! Alright, here they come. This is going to hurt a lot. So we have Harum. We want to grab you. The other tank immediately died. Oh, goodness gracious me. We are tanking everything. Okay, well. Looks like the other tank is getting battle rest, And we are killing the wolves. Hopefully they will grab... This objective is needs to get out of the way. Alright. Uh, go ahead and taunt. I just... Ah! Goodness me, I'm going to die. Unless this other tank decides to grab Harum. Come on, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. At least I'm getting a lot of threat. I just got to keep my savage defense up at this point because I am chunking. I'm going to wait for you. Come on. We're not going to yell. We're not going to get low like yell like the last tank did. Oh, well, you taunted one of them. Wasn't quite the right run. That's okay. Uh, taunt the other one. Harum. We'll just wait. Oh wait, we're currently sitting at 11 stacks. We'll move them away a little bit. Come on, get over here. I will taunt Cardris if I have to. Come on. Come on. Again, this is why knowing the mechanics is awesome. Alright, we're just going to taunt Cardris, get over here. 15 stacks. <laughs> this may just be a case of I'm just going to have to die and then... Ah, oh, huzzah! She taunted the other one! Alright, okay. Alright, we can use this chance to position them together. This isn't too bad a location. It will do. Unless this toxic storm... Alright, that toxic storm was good. Alright, so we can use this chance to just relax for a moment. So yes, know the mechanics. She got there eventually, which was awesome. Ah. And I will... Uh, I'll include a link to my LFR guide of Wing 2 in the description below if you want to know mechanics. Very important that you do, especially as a tank. So I'm just going to... And we're just taking magical damage. That's where most of this damage is coming from. Alright, so we will move this way. And the other tank is currently sitting on six stacks. So we will taunt Harum and move them both over here. Oh, okay. We instantly lost aggro. Alright, well, we'll taunt again when taunt goes off cooldown. Taunt! Get over here! There we go. Do we have Berserk? We don't. Okay, blobs are on me. Okay, I need to remember how to do this. I want to get away from the raid with these blobs. That's right. So I'll go over here. And make this foul slime move towards me rather than 
I can't really do much to get aggro on these, actually, I've realized. I'm not a Brewmaster Monk. I suppose I can go near them, but it's very dangerous because they do a constant AoE damage, so I'm going to move over here. Alright, so it... Alright, this is going a bit better. I'm, I'm happy with how this is going now. Not entirely sure how the other tank instantly died. Alright, Foul Stream is coming in. Foul Geyser is also coming in. Alright, so this tank isn't going to be moving for this Foul Geyser. So what we're going to do to help alleviate this is I, we'll try and get as much aggro as we can. Combine it with our cooldowns and move to the side. There we go, that wasn't that bad. We did lose someone. We might be able to battle raise them once we get... Oh no, they've already battle raised. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, so uh, we will move them this way. Alright, so Ash and Wall coming in. Let's grab you. And we will start moving... Ah, bollocks. We taunted it just the wrong time. I'm going to go right up and around here. We just need to get out of this corner of the room, really. So we'll just move over here slowly but surely. All right, I've moved both of the bosses to the other side of the room. We'll pop our cooldowns to help survive this. We are taking loads of damage. May have moved out of range of the healers a little bit. There we go. I just want to get to a... We need to get a good rotation going here more than anything else. All right, so we want to move to the side. Look for the accession wall. Move them over here. All right, so Foul Geyser is coming in. All right, we're actually in a fairly good position to kite this one. Try and get some aggro on you guys. There we go. Taking more damage. Okay. Our other tank is still alive. That's good. Taking lots of damage. Need to kill these foul dudes. Alright. So, you're on six stacks. We'll do you over. And hopefully this will also move the tank. Uh, thankfully, we have a lot of power as tanks. We will use our, our Savage Roar to kite this, uh, this blob. Or well, these blobs, in fact. There's a lot of blobs. Do, 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 do. Lots of rage damage coming out here. And we'll move over here. We still have aggro on both of the bosses. I suppose that's just the nature of the beast. That's right. We've got uh, more. All right, we've got an Ashen Ball coming in here. We'll pop that there. Okay, well, let's talk about these Ashen Walls quickly. You'll notice there that I just popped that Ashen Ball in a pretty good location. How did I do that? Well, the Ashen Walls, these Walls of Fire Elementals, will always, always be targeted on the tank and they will always go uh they will always be spawned in a pattern relating to where the tank is standing it will always be across your shoulder so if i'm tanking like this then there will be a line that's made just to the left and right of me the other tank is taking a lot of damage she's standing in all of the foul blobs all right here comes the next action wall it's going to appear just along the side of me there you see let's we'll leave there for a second you see how that it it kind of spawns uh, around my shoulders like a whole bunch of uh, just kind of like they were standing next to me We'll grab Cardress at this point. We want to move them out of this because we really don't want to be stacking on that stuff. Loads of stuff going on at the moment. So we'll move to the side, use our, our defensives. Next Ashen Wall is not going to be for 10 seconds. All right, so we've got aggro on a whole bunch of different things here. Other tank is still alive, but only just. We want to be careful about our location here. Taking loads of damage. What can we do to help ourselves, heal ourselves? Pop the Ashen Wall there. Oh, where did that Ashen Wall go? Oh, I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm not going to complain. I will charge to Harom to get out of this uh, ash. I think we may have... Ah! Goodness me. Alright, so we don't want to go through there. We will just pop our defensives and jump through this ash and wall. Just to move this uh, these foul slimes out of the raid. Get Cardress over here. We've, we've lost a lot of people at the moment. This isn't been the most... It hasn't been the best pull so far. And we will grab you. And this is where it's going to get really nasty. So let's move them both over here. So we've got, we're tanking both of them and they're both doing a lot of damage. This is going to really, really hurt. So we'll pop our Berserk to get as many Savage Defense Ups as we possibly can. Don't want to use it too fast though. So Foul Geyser is still on us. Oh uh, no, no, it's on the other tank now. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Get some AOE done here. That, that Ashen explode. All right. The other tank is now dead. I will probably follow to be honest. Eh, there we go. And down. That was a wipe. That was nasty. A little bit of miscommunication there. Well, not miscommunication. I mean, this uh, other tank did say she was a bit new. That's fine. Got to learn through fire. That's the way LFR works. Yeah. Okay, so let's think about what wiped us there. A uh, little bit of uh, miscommunication on the tank's behalf there. We didn't really have a great job dealing with those foul slimes. Uh, that's probably what did a lot of damage. 
we want to, I think, foul slimes. That's what we'll probably do. I will have a, a chat with our friendly brewmaster tank and discuss how we can sort out this situation. So, we will jump in through here. And I will talk to this tank. Oh, okay. Alrighty. For the, uh... So, Cardris, the girl, does foul slime. Which spawns a bunch of those those green blobs near you. Near you. Try and uh, get threat on them as soon as they appear. They do damage to everyone near them, so try to move away from the group when they're following you. They move really slow. There we go. Do damage to everyone around them, so try to move away from the group when they're following you. They move really slowly. Uh, and I should probably bark this other tank. Can we mass raise? I think we can. Yeah, doing so now. Yeah, we struggled a little bit with communication there. Just see all these simple things that I never really got to experience as a DPS or a healer. Uh, we also need to move in a pattern around the room. A room. We can't really split the bosses up. So I'll put some markers down. We'll put a blue marker, and then a gold marker, and then a red marker, and then a green marker. Do we have a red marker? And then a red marker. See the coloured markers? Let's move in a counterclockwise direction. Blue, then yellow, then purple, then green, then red, then blue, then repeat. The idea is that we constantly move them so that the raid has room. They put loads of stuff on the ground. Okay, I fail at typing so that, but that's fine. We'll be going counterclockwise. Blue, yellow, purple, green, red. Or do we walk it? We'll run. But just kind of stagger the movement. I'm marked with the green triangle. Try to stick with me. Unless I'm running away from blobs. Okay. There we go. Alright, so hopefully that helped. So we have a stack of determination. That's the new one. Other than that, let's make sure we kill the slime adds nice and fast. Alright, there we go. People are here. Uh, no, 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 no. Do a ready check. And let's move into position. Come on, folks. We're so far away from these guys. You can stand right here. A little slower. Just stick with me. And try to keep the bosses out of the stuff they put on the ground. It'll be purple or green or red. Alright, pulling in ten. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright, we're going to take fuck tons of damage at the start of this fight. That's fine, though. Oh, crap. Goodness me, what happens to this tank? Get over here. Goodness gracious me. This tank just instantly dies! Alright, well, let's pop our cooldowns. Pop our cooldowns. Pop our cooldowns. I cannot single tank this fight. Please, please, battle res them. I can't one tank this without a friend. There we go. Alright, so, we are now tanking both of them. This should be interesting. Goodness gracious me. Alright, well. 
Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll raise you. We'll, we'll raise her ourselves. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it is interesting. Alright, so we'll move you to blue. This is a good way of doing it. Just marking and just going from blue and then from blue to, to yellow and so on, so on, so on. Alright. Uh, tank Harold for me, please. There we go. Again, mechanics know them! Knowing your mechanics is so good. That's not, that's not Harom. Other one. There we go. Lovely. Come on. Come. No, not you! The other one! The other one! Alright, let's, let's move. There we go! Alright. I will move around. To go here. Let's go to, oh, here, she's moving with me. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Slowly coming towards me. We'll wait here for her. Lovely. Lovely. Just like that. Awesome. Sort it. Oh, goodness me, we have ads. Okay, that happened. We'll grab you. And we'll use a Savage Roar to move over to purple. Okie dokie. Grab you. Who's our berserking here at this point? Alright, she's on seven stacks, goodness me, I never noticed that. My bad. Alright, we'll grab you and you and you. Here come the blobs. Here come the blobs. I've been watching Doctor Who recently. I believe that played during one of the Masters episodes. Anyway! Except it was guns, not blobs. So we shall continue this. Getting lots of damage on these folks. We'll continue to move them. This is more like it, yes, very nice. Good job. Keep this up. Got to give him encouragement. All right, I'm on five stacks. Oh, what a wonderful taunt. Just like that. Move away from this toxic storm. And then we will kite these blobs just out of the way. This is the kind of way you want it. Just kind of ahead of where you'd be tanking. Of where you'd be kiting, even. So we will grab our girl and all you folks. Use our bark skin to help survive this. And our feral instinct or survival instinct, whatever it's called. Once these ads are dead, I'll probably taunt the boss. Uh, taunt Haram, even. Do, 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 do. Alright. Taunt you. Alright, so that was, a, that was an okay Ashen Wall. It wasn't the best. So we'll move over here. Blobs are also on me. Oh, no, they're back on the other person now. Not the best place for them, but it'll have to do. We will continue to use our... Defensive cooldowns here, this is going to especially hurt with uh, the Ashen Walls coming in. The tanks do take a lot of damage here. In fact, everyone just takes a lot of damage here. So we've got to air with these foul slimes down. Use our Savage Defense. Yeah, we have a self-heal available if we want it. Alright, here comes the next Ashen Wall. Just kind of want to put it to the side there so that we don't take too much damage. Uh, we are waiting now for the tank to taunt. We will taunt Cardras and move these Foul Slimes out of the raid. Just to the side here. We have aggro on one of them. We have aggro on the one we don't want aggro on. That's fine. No, 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 no. Sitting on eight stacks. We'll use our Might of Ursoc to increase our health. Let's swap bosses. There we go. Uh, Ash and Walt, not the best. Want to grab aggro on you. Hey, hey goodness me. Was that a bear I saw? It may be myself. <laughs> I think I just saw myself and thought it was someone else. Anyway, so I'm just going to grab aggro on all of you folks. Get as much air we threat as we can. Use our bark skin to help survive this because we're going to be taking a lot of damage here. That was a nice knockback. Want to move Harom. We'll be able to move him in about 10 seconds. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Next. I keep using Savage Defense even though this person basically just constantly casts. Let's move to the side here. And then we will grab aggro on you. Alright, so it looks like we have Harum and the blobs. Not the best time to taunt. But we'll just have to live with it. Just want to make sure we're not out of range of the healers. Who are struggling a lot at the moment. Use our Zandalari, Berserkers and, our, and our, any healing we can do really at the moment will help. And we'll move them to the back here towards green. And they have just bloodlusted. This is where you want to bloodlust normally. And if that was a good placement. I'm, I'm trying to figure out just how quickly I can move to sort that out, but, you know, 
It's not the end of the world. It's, it wasn't that bad. As long as people don't run directly through it, we should be good. And those are... That Ashen Wall is just a bunch of ads that you can't target that just sit there and aggro anything and hit them that's anything nearby. They, they hit fairly hard, so you don't want to stand in them. Alright, sitting on seven stacks. Let's swap. Don't want to stand in the bad. Pop Berserk. Gonna be taking loads of damage here. Alright. Come on, come on, get over here. Savage Defense. Taking lots and lots of damage now. This is gonna sting a lot. Alright, here come the blobs. Again. Move them just out of range here. Use our cooldowns as they come up. All of our trinkets, all of our cooldowns to survive as much as we can. Oh, the tank is still alive. That's good. Come on, Haram. Yeah, get you over here. Ah, that was a bad Ashram Wall by me. We'll just run through it. And move them over here. You can survive the Ashram Wall on... Uh, there we go. Okay, we swapped. That's nice. Alright, so I'll use Savage Roar to kite these blobs out of the raid. Get over here. Grab aggro on all of you. Oh, that was a nice knockback. Very nice knockback. All right, Toxic Storm comes in. I want to keep moving them. Come on, Miss Tank. Well, in about five seconds, I'll be able to taunt. And there we go. Taunt. Foul stream. That was a bad foul stream, but that's okay. Here come the blobs. Savage defense. Savage Defense isn't as useful on Cardras as it is Haram because Cardras spends so much time casting. And in fact, they both spend a lot of time casting. Although, thankfully, we should be able to just survive this. Use our Might of Ursoc to increase our health. And taking loads of damage, tanking them both, but that's fine. We've nearly got them. Nearly got them. Next, last Savage Defense. Ash and War will just jump in a, just jump past them. And there we go! Whew! Good job, folks. Nicely done. There we go. So we'll throw down our mass rays, and once again, we will look into the dungeon journal to see what they drop. So they drop a cloak, which is uh, pretty nice. They drop waist, which is really nice. And they drop legs, which isn't so helpful. It's good, but it's not that helpful. Okay, so let's roll. Yeah, gold. Anytime. Uh, trash up to Nazgrim, then Nazgrim. He is much simpler for us. Okay. So, we just got the trash up to Nazgrim, and then Nazgrim himself. He's not that hard, so we should be good. So we shall smack you around. Boop. And then do this and that. And the wolf is dead. <laughs> See, this is why you shouldn't have a, a hunters with uh, their pets tanking, because the pets just die, and it pisses off the tank. And, you know, the, 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 the thing that they're tanking may cleave the group or something. It's never a good idea. The hunter loses DPS because their pet dies. The tanks get annoyed because they're not tanking. They're not doing their job. So here comes the blind blade, blind blade masters. All these guys do is they just do loads of cleaves. So we're going to be tanking two of them now. This should be interesting. We could probably just... Okay, maybe not. Taking lots of damage here. Just want to try and avoid as much of this as we can. Although not too easy. We can avoid this blind cleave though. Here comes another blind cleave. Can we get out of range? No, we can't. These blind bay musters are, are murdering people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness me. Pretend I didn't swear. Just pretend I said, goodness gracious me, instead. So we'll try and grab the both of you. Here comes the second blind cleave. Oh! Stuck on the fence there. We'll pop our cooldowns. Because we are still fairly squishy. Try and avoid as much damage as we can. There's one blind cleave. We'll just get out of range of the second. That we want out of range of that. Yeah, these guys aren't very friendly to melee, unfortunately. They're very, very melee unfriendly. I'm going to avoid the second blind cleave. Although, interesting fact about these guys is that if you're, me if you're ranged and you attack them and there's no one in melee range, then they'll just kind of wander around like, where's all this damage coming from? And then they'll die. You can solo these guys if you're arranged, just by not going near them. Uh, I do want to respond to this guy. Oh, goodness me! Taking lots of damage there. Since we're aggroing both of these, generally it'd be a good idea to have one tank on each here, but uh, right now, I'm dancing too much to really be able to type. 
Here comes the next blind cleave. Charge back in. I can't see anything! Alright, we'll jump around you. Jump around you again. I would go the other way, but that would put them in range to cleave the raid, and I don't want to do that. Here's the next blind cleave. Thankfully, I get hit by one blind cleave, and it knocks me out of range of the second. Alright, so we should be doing much better now. We can just stand in this. Use our bark skin and help talk to this guy. He does a Sunder armor. We swap at five stacks. Is it five stacks? Let me check. Three to four. Ah! I'm stuck in the tree! There we go. Ah! I think I may actually be stuck. How did that happen? There we go. I was able to get away from that bloody tree. Uh, he does a Sunder armor. We swap at four stacks of it. Goodness gracious me. Right, we have Blind Cleave coming in, but that's fine. We'll just continue to hit you. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We are standing and stuff. Gen this is very intense, this this run, I must say. All right, there we go. And we'll use our mass res to help get people up and going. Also, it's not generally a good idea to run ahead of the raid here. You, you generally want to move as a raid, but not that big of a deal. If you hear, if you hear, our enemies have finally arrived. Demolish it. Yeah, if you hear that, you're going to want to go forwards. What does the other do in the meanwhile? Okay, we'll grab the boss. Yeah, I'm alone. All the cooldowns. Uh, I need heals. <sighs> All right, well, that happened. That's okay. I, I may have pulled a little bit early there. That's what happens when the rest of the healers are too far behind. That's okay. So you're saying... So, say you're tanking. What do I do? Okay, okay, well. Uh, you could pull adds, I suppose, but that's not that necessary. None of far. Uh, you could grab some adds, but you don't generally need to. You don't, apparently. There we go. Just DPS him. There we go. Uh, we'll get rid of these markers. We may need them in the future. The raid seems to be happily wiping down here, by the way. So we may not actually get there in time. Struggling somewhat. Is the other tank dead? How can I keep track on stacks? Uh, do you have a raiding add-on? Like DBM or DBM or Big Wigs? Uh, he's just murdering him. Looks like he's got to reset now. Why are you running forwards, you crazy mage? Alright, well, we'll use another, another mass res? Or are we still in combat? I think we may still be in combat. Okay. Well, once we do a couple of swaps... Oh, there's going to be an explosion at my feet. Ow. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> let's deal with the situation. One sec. Okay, let's deal with the situation. We are currently dodging boulders that are coming through the wall. Can we get out of range? That is the question. The raid is kind of disjointed at the moment. Hmm. Looks like I can't get out of range. Okay. That's okay. What can we do about the situation? We don't have a way to drop combat. I suppose we could just avoid these boulders while everyone gathers together. I mean, they are all targeting me. Ow. I didn't dodge that one. Okay. Uh, once we get going with the swaps, you can taunt whenever your stack goes away. <laughs> I'm just a ninja today. Just avoiding everything. Okay, this is bad. We're, okay. We're still in combat. Let's engage. Alright, we do have a healer on us, which is nice. Right, let's get people coming in. Alright, let's aggro this guy now. And this time, let's try not to die. Let's pop our cooldowns and try not to fucking die. I did just swear. That's bad of me. 
and use savage defense. You can also target target me and see the debuff stacks under my unit frame. There we go. I really should set up a focus bar that shows debuffs like that. That would be very helpful. Alright, so let's let's reduce some raid damage here. And grab you and you. See if we can get in melee range of both of these guys. Putting some more damage on ourselves, but that's just fine. Get over here. Bloody monks. Alright, looks like uh, the amount of boulders has decreased significantly. That's nice. Throw some healing on ourselves. Ourselves, even. I'm not sure how to say that. Ourself? Ourselves? Whatever. Ourselves, I think that's it. Alright, so just air wing a little bit here. This is much more stable. I was worried I'd have to go in and just die to reset the fight, but it looks like we were able to dodge enough uh, boulders that we were able to just get the raid going together. So once Overlord Runthak dies, this whole thing becomes a lot easier for me, at least, because the tank damage just goes down significantly, because this guy hits fairly hard. I mean, he's a mob in the Siege of Orgrimmar, and I am undergeared, so dealing with that. Is the other tank here? Yes, okay, the other tank has aggro here. That's nice. Okay. So we'll just happily sit here, use Savage Defense. Try not to take any damage. Oh, no, goodness me, you don't want to take threat on that without being in melee range, because then they'll just boulder you. Alright, Overlord Runthak is down. That's good. Looks like the other Demolishers are pretty good as well. There's only these two left. Alright. Much better. Okay. We'll use a mass res. Heretics will burn, apparently. Well, there we go. Okay. Boop. Oh, and Gammon. We have freed Gammon. Of course we have. I'm just going to quickly take a drink because my throat is starting to get a bit sore from all the talking I'm doing. Ah, lovely. Alright, let's move forward. We'll use Iron Rage to keep ourselves with plenty of the rage. Looks like we've pulled already. That's just fine. We'll grab you. And stun you. Can you be stunned? You can be stunned. That's nice. You'll be doing a Shadow Flame as soon as you get unstunned, won't you? Shadow Flame, interrupt you. Don't want that. Shadow Flame is the one that disorients me, and I don't want that. I don't want to get disoriented. Not only because it increases the damage the raid will take, but I don't like being out of control of my character. I will say these Shadow Mages randomly mind spike people, and a lot of the time they like picking things like uh, totems and uh, pets. So we just jump down here. That's it. That's it. Come one, come all. Come into the Rage Fire Chasm. Alright, there we go. Uh, what's that? That's a voodoo. We'll move you over there. There we go. That's better. Alright, so we'll charge these Arc Weavers. Ah, all the memories of wiping on Nazgrim on Heroic last night. What was it the night before? It was the night before. That's right. So we will grab you. Okay, no, we'll grab you instead. That's fine. Alright, so we're doing alright now. We will throw in a stun. Bash you in the face. And everything seems to be going well. I mean, this these trash packs aren't that difficult. So, thankfully, this should be a little bit more relaxed than it has been already. It's been pretty intense so far. Alright, now these assassins. I don't think they target tanks with their stuff, so... Oh, there's three of them. I thought there was only one of them for a minute. So, we can't really do much to stop these guys from attacking their targets. We can root them, stun them, and all that stuff, but... Uh, Really, it's up to the people to just not run away from them, or they'll instantly die. That's just about it. We use our Berserk, actually, since they're pretty close together. Oh, I say that now. They're not anymore. If you have these guys, just tank them. Just face tank them. We will root you, make your make lives a bit easier. Hey! <laughs> that one was, uh, change targets. Don't turn your back. If you turn your back, you die. And it sucks. We'll stun you. Straight in the face. I will say, troll hunters look really cool. I love troll hunters. I love most trolls. In fact, I love all trolls. Trolls are awesome. That's the race, not the community of people on the internet. Those kind of trolls. No. Alright, let's raise this guy. I don't even know where he died. He died over there. Uh, oh, he's alive. Alright, he, he walked back in. That's nice. Okay, now we have the war shaman. So, 
There's only three of them. We'll grab you. And maybe we'll... Get over here! Oh, or not. Okay. Who just looked at me? Well, that, that happened. I'm not entirely sure what that was all about, but... Anyway, may have been rude. So, maybe we'll interrupt this and power chain heal. Oh, no, we won't. These healing tide totems are dying, like, instantly. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, bloody pets! And whoever put the bubble on that pet? Power word shield on the pet? Come on. They're not tanks. They're not. They're just not. I don't know what that was. They're not tanks, sir! Alright. We'll grab you. Uh, in... Yeah. This may be dangerous. This may be very dangerous, in fact. In fact, I think you may be able to stand inside the faithful, but I, I want to be careful with that. Uh, we don't really have anything to stop all of these guys, but we can stop two of them. One, two. So there's two Iron Storms blocked. Ah, there we go. Lots of, lots of nice AoE stuns. Really great for these guys, because they just sit here and they just do this Iron Storm. It's just like a 60 second long Blade Storm. Um, yeah, you just want to stun them. If you stun them, it interrupts them. You can't interrupt them conventionally, like I can't Skull Bash them to interrupt them. But uh, stunning them will will stop the cast and then they have to recast it. Goodness me, they're roaring a lot. Alright. So hitting you, hitting you. Bloody pets. Not that it really matters. These guys don't really melee hit too much. Alright. We'll tank him where he's standing right now. On blue. You get the little army he has. They... They're really weak. Really weak. I'll get him. And we swap on five stacks. Uh, he'll spawn adds during the fight. It's the raid's job to deal with them. But if one is near us, feel free to, talk, to tank it. It's not that big a deal. Okay, ready, check. We will use the opportunity to eat some Pandaren treasure noodle soup. Om nom 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 soup. And here we go. Uh, we will pull in seven this time. I feel daring. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Charge! Alright, I have aggro on everything. Oh god, all the cooldowns. Oh, I couldn't resist doing the AoE. Hopefully the tank will get some aggro. No, 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 don't pull the boss as well, you plonker. I can't see a bloody thing. I just know that there's a lot of stuff going on around me. Alright, so there's General Nesgrim's. Oh, shockwave! Did we dodge that? I'm not sure we did. Alright, okay. So, taunt, please. Just get ready to say that. Taunt. There we go. Taunt whenever your stacks drop off. I'll say that. Just taunt him whenever... Uh, now, just taunt him whenever your Sunder armor stacks go away. Alright, so here comes the Corcoran banner. I want to grab you. Going to be taunting him in just a moment. We'll let her take one more Sundering blow. And there we go. I will grab aggro on you now. Uh-huh. We've got the Corcoran Banner. We didn't bloodlust. That's the, just the noise the Corcoran Banner makes. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so he's going to be hitting us fairly hard. Nazgrim does hit pretty hard. So, where is our other tank bomb? Is she going to help? I think she's going to help. That's nice. Here comes the next banner. Having constant banners is actually okay. As long as you kill them nice and fast. Because then he won't really, really do much. He'll just keep placing banners down. Lovely. Yeah, that's just how you do it. That's just how you do it. Awesome. There we go. Uh, well, we taunted the, the wrong mob. So we've got 10 seconds to play around with. Let's help out the people here. Wanna grab aggro on you and we'll stun you. Hopefully that should do. Warsong comes in. We'll grab aggro on you. Here comes defensive stance. We've got to wait for... Okay, now. Now. You, he only generates aggro... Uh, 
defensive stance. Stop attacking. Now, he'll only generate rage if you attack him. I can, however, attack him because I have Sundering Blow on me. Which means I can continue to generate aggro and do my active mitigation. So I can continue to do that. Alright. That's good. I can continue to attack him for a little bit if I want. Although I really should go and help with that. Let's go do that. Get slowed. And get stunned. There we go. All sorted. Nice, 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 nice. Banner. I can probably get my bleeds onto Nazgrim. And uh, I can taunt. There we go. Get you over here. There we go. Battle starts. Feel free. No, feel free once. You can attack again. There we go. We'll use our Berserk hit. It was Ravager. Sucks, but that's okay. Doop -doop 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 uh, let's use our Trinket to help survive this a little bit. Combine it with our Savage Defense to give ourselves loads of dodge rating. So this isn't nearly as uh, as nasty as it is on... Uh, as Sorry, as the rest of this has been. We'll move you over to the side here. Whoa, taking damage. Oh, we just popped our cooldowns and... He's standing in that ravage. I've got to be careful there. But yeah, we popped our cooldowns right after the tank uh, swap came in. So we'll use Bark Skin to help with this. And we'll actually... I'm going to use Tranquility. We have a little bit of time to use Tranquility. Just to get the nice hots on people. There we go. Three. A two. And a one. And... One more Sundering Blow. There we go. I'll grab aggro. Use our defensive cooldown to help the healers. It's it's generally a good idea to use your defensive cooldowns right after you grab aggro because the healers will be like, oh, the tank's no longer taking damage. Oh, this tank's taking damage instead. Oh, uh, grab you. Die, banner. There we go. Also, as a note, you never really want to be facing away from a boss because then they can hit you without you parrying or dodging or any of that stuff, which is not what you want. Here comes Warsong. I don't have mitigation for this. don't even have a health stone. Goodness me, that was not a good idea. Alright, well, hopefully we will get... There we go. Lovely jelly. We will use this opportunity to grab some... It will grab you. Get hit. The banner is up, but that's okay. I have 13 seconds. We'll stun you. And then we'll go help you by stunning you. Defensive stance coming in. We'll grab aggro on you. Oh, that was close. Defensive stance. Stop attacking. There we go. Alright, so we have Sundering Blow. We can now attack. That's good. We'll use Bark Skin. Generally just want to use this stuff on cooldown. Because it he doesn't actually have like a big bursty phase. He does on heroic mode. He has an execute that deals loads of damage. But I mean, at the moment he doesn't really do that. I mean on LFR he doesn't do that. So we can just use our cooldowns whenever they become available to just smooth out the damage as much as we can. Goodness me! That was a lot of damage. Getting hit multiple times there, that really stung. So this actually, it just flatly, yeah, it just reduces our armor. So, uh, taunt when you can. Six stacks, that's not so grand. Lovely. Alright, now we can go help out what's going on over here. Stun you! Oh, we actually gotta go kill you first. Die, Banner! Haven't got much vengeance. So we'll have to... There we go. And that took a little bit longer than I would have liked. No worries. Uh... Alright. Oh, oh, War Shaman. Okay. Now, if you are off tanking and you want to grab this War Shaman... Well, I didn't really grab it at the best time in the world... She's going to be taking lots of stacks. We'll let her take one more. This, this War Shaman has to die. I can't put this War Shaman near the boss. Come on, come on, come on. Kill this War Shaman. Here comes the War Song. I'm going to have to help out now. There we go. Sorted. War Shaman is a little close, but yeah, there we go. Sorted. That was fairly good timing, I like to think. More enemies coming in. Watch the heroic shockwave. It's not near us. That's good. That was revenge. I have no idea what that means. Uh, 
Oh, I see. I see what that means. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Grab you. I had an ad that healed. Oh, crap! Oh, double crap! Gotta get Nazgrim away from this healing titan. Oh, goodness gracious me. <laughs> wow, okay. I was not quite prepared for that. Alright, that's all good. That's all good. We can go help with the ads now. Here comes the next wave of ads. Didn't quite get that interrupt off. That's annoying. We can nuke you. And then we can bear hug you. And then we can charge you. There we go. Ah, the sign blade is on me. I need it to not be on me. See, this is why you don't generally want to tank adds when you don't have a coordinated raid. Because I don't really want to tank this in the melee clump. Actually, I'm just going to pull him over to the side now, I think. There we go. I got it, I got it. Don't worry, don't you worry. There we go. I found a solution. The solution was to tank him in the side of the room. So, we will... Uh, we have already bloodlusted, that kind of sucks, but that's that's fair. That's fine. We do have Berserk in approximately one minute, which is going to heavily, heavily suck. Uh, focus Nazgrim entirely now. No more ads, just nuke the boss. Everything you've got. Alright, let's do as much damage as we can. Approximately 10% with 58 seconds to go. Can we do it? As long as he doesn't get healed, we may be able to. Four, three, two, one, and we taunt. Pop our cooldowns. We don't need any of that. We should be good as long as none of the ads get towards us. I don't see any ads, actually. Interestingly. I'm, that was interesting. I thought he summoned a whole bunch of extra ads on Everfar. Did he actually even say it? He didn't. Okay. Well, there we go. A little bit close, but one dead General Nazgrim. Huzzah! Now, let's see if we can get bonus loot. Nah, gold. Good job, folks. Nicely done. And there we have it. General Nazgrim down. A little bit of a topsy-turvy ride there, but that was all good. We did a good job, and I would just like to, before we end the video, say something. We started... Yes, it was. Uh... So, we started with having to wait a little bit, that's fine. And then we had a tank who was pretty well geared, and who was a fairly, I'm not going to say abusive, he was just very loud, and he was very talkative, and he was very, you know, taunt, 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 yelling at the raid. I seem to recall a raid warning where he was like, healers, come on. You don't want to do that. It doesn't work. It just, it just doesn't. You can't just yell at people, especially in an LFR. I mean, it doesn't work in a normal mode or a heroic mode. It's not going to work in a pug. And then he left the group. And on Dark Shaman, we had someone who had never done the instance before. And they happily admitted it, which, first of all, was the best thing in the world. If you haven't done it before and you don't know the mechanics, tell other people. It's not so bad if you're a healer or a DPS, but if you're a tank, you need to know the mechanics. If you haven't done it, tell the other tank. If they don't answer, or if they're annoying or abusive or, or whatever, or if they're rude, ask the raid instead. And had we acted the same way, imagine if uh, I had said, oh, you know, screw it, I can't do this anymore, and I left the raid, right? If I did that after Iron Juggernaut. And then, after that, the paladin had said, oh, well, that idiot's gone, I'm going to continue. And then the monk that uh, replaced the paladin joined instead of me. How do you think that paladin would have treated that monk? He would have been very rude, very difficult, and probably the raid wouldn't have done as well. So that's the message of this video. Other than all the stuff we've been talking about in terms of, you know, handling mechanics and all that stuff. We've done that before. The message to take away from this video is this. Be patient in an LFR. Expect other people to not know what to do. And try to just be patient with them and say, okay, this is what you want to do. You want to do this, 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 this. And you want to know the mechanics. And you want to, I mean, I, I even said, you know, do you have DBM or bigwigs? And the person was like, no, what does that do? Oh, it's a, it's a rating add-on that helps you with learning things like this. Oh, great. And then they downloaded it. They said, okay, I downloaded it. That's great. Having that drive to want to get better is better than any kind of gear you can ever have. Ever. That drive to want to get better is awesome. And I will say this. Happy Hap, you're awesome. You are a great tank, and you are going to become 
one of the best tanks in your guild. If you keep up with that attitude, you keep being stubborn, you keep learning, and you keep getting better. And you did get better during that LFR. Absolutely awesome stuff, my friend. Thank you, and it was great raiding with you. Well, it was great LFRing with you. LFRing isn't quite raiding yet, but you're on your way, and it was awesome fun. So that's the message of this video. Be patient, be accepting, understanding of other people, and you'll do awesome in LFR. And if you have that attitude and you go and approach everything else, not only in the game, but in life like that, then it's going to be awesome. And you're going to be widely regarded as a wonderful person. But I've, d I've been ranting enough. That's going to conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any comments, thoughts, feedback, or anything like that, I am always after feedback. Let me know what you think. Then you can contact me using the links in the description, or you can just leave a comment. I'm more than happy to have a chat with you folks in the comments or in email or Twitter or anything like that. And I would have a chat with you about anything you'd like, whether it's about raiding or about tanking or about boosting a 90, all that stuff. But all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Best of luck with your boosted level 90, and best of luck with your Siege of Orgrimmar LFR runs.